she's getting hungry and I'm getting angry. I'm actually dying here. That's how we that's how is it when you do the first Ramadan in your life. You know? Everything looks so amazing. <laughs> this is how I feel halfway through Ramadan. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome to the new vlog It's been actually such a long time that we didn't have put some a new vlog A really long time actually, it's in I summer Exactly, but the reason is because this corona and what everything is happened So we get actually just get stopped But today we came with a new idea that I've been thinking for such a long time That I've been wanting to do in it And finally it's come to time to do it and we've been thinking to do tomorrow actually a Ramadan day with Stina that she never been trying something like that. I uh, we decided to start the vlog the night yeah, before, which means right now, and I tomorrow is gonna be a Ramadan day. Yeah. And here we are. So what do you think? Are you ready for the new experience that it's gonna be for tomorrow? I don't know if I'm ready or if I'm like super uh, ready. Uh, and I, don't I need like. to tell you people that when I get hungry. I'm not a funny person to deal with, so either this is going to go really good or we are going to have so much fight tomorrow. But of course <laughs> we decided to do this <coughs> right now because the total hour that we're going to be doing the Ramadan is 9 hours because we are in Sweden, in Shh. Stockholm and right now we are almost in the short day, the shortest time of the day the, like exactly, of the in the whole year. So it's gonna be like how we said, <coughs> 9 hours, we're gonna do Ramadan exactly how we should do. We're gonna wake up in the night time and we have a sahur, which means we're gonna have one more food before we are like ready for the whole day. And don't make me to tell you more because I want you to keep there and watch it by yourself. And the time right now it's quarter past 5 in the morning. And we have half an hour left so we have to stop eating actually we just L let me just stop you <laughs> because Elias said yesterday that he was going to do the Ramadan with us of course and he's here with us <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna have some few breads here like how you see just some quick foods so we're gonna so we can hold like the whole day today let's do it breakfast done let's start this or end this I don't know what you call it And the boys actually gave me some time to sleep in this morning, which I'm really happy for. And um, yeah, usually I start my mornings with a cup of coffee. Like I always, always have a cup of coffee and then I um, leave the boys for school. Like I take a 40 minutes walk and then after that I have my breakfast. So this is going to probably be the hardest for me to not have my morning coffee but I will hold in and I will uh, fight for this and we'll see how I feel in a little bit of time right now we are actually in our car on our way to buy some food for tonight or some ingredients and what are we gonna make? are you ready for this? Yeah. are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to make a harira. Har How could it be a Ramadan day without harira, of course? So we actually on the way to supermarket and buy what we need for that harira. 
Yeah. And of course, with some dinner and it's time to make food, so we yeah. are ready when it's time to break the fast. So. Yeah. And I'm actually really excited because I'm going to make my first ever Harira. Pose. Let's see this Europe Harira how it's gonna be. I will let you know the result later, you know. Maybe you will be sick. I hope that it's at least smell or taste as the Moroccan one, but who knows? I found it I found the recipe on a Swedish page, so it should it should be a Swedish one. I it's think probably that. with some meatballs, you know. <laughs> The time is right now 12, 6 past 12. That means that we've done this fasting for about... Six hours. Six hours. Yeah, or six and a half hours. Yeah. And the most of them I've been sleeping actually. <laughs> You've been waking up. I've been awake. You didn't sleep after that? I think I slept for about 40 minutes. Okay. But otherwise I've been awake. And I've been feeling really good actually until about 20 minutes ago that I went into the kitchen and I had to clean the kids leftover from breakfast and I could feel all of the smells and it was just like that's when my stomach told me like okay I'm hungry I need something to eat but at the same time like you know that you can't to eat I know like... so like it made me feel so sad because there is people in the world that don't have food and this is what they experience every day they they can't buy food there you know like they have no money and so yeah i just got like a reality check come on and let's go and buy some ending of the fasting food <laughs> or what can you call it so excited to come and buy food when i'm doing the ramadan it's making me feel like buy everything you know i'm actually starting to get hungry now <laughs> it's got it's got it's got She's getting hungry and I'm getting angry. <laughs> I'm just trying to control myself. The problem, like, I wake up around 10.30, uh, I think, no? 10.30, uh, yeah, but 1030. I don't know. I'm feeling like, I don't know, I don't know. Just yeah. keep it like that. So, yeah, let's uh, buy some foods. What do we need for Harira? I've been wishing to have Harira. I don't remember for how long time right now. So I really, really, really hope that you can make it like how I'm Oh my god, now you're it. putting a pressure on me. Of course, I would be there standing and trying Google whatever it is it's need to do. So let's go. Honey, it's For how long you did Ramadan today? Until 9.30. 9.30 it has been doing Ramadan. So it has give up for today. This kid, I don't know how it's gonna be the shopping, but it's taking us <laughs> a long time. It's so funny doing this with Tina for the first time because right now we get like close to the bakery. What do you call it? Bakery. The bakery. The bakery area, and she's smelling like a lot of sweets and bread, and she's doing Ramadan. Like she, she knew that she cannot eat them. And she's like, oh, what's this feeling, you know? <laughs> but you know, you never appreciate these smells when you... Exactly, because you, you smell it, okay, and then you buy it, and then you eat it, and then it's done. But exactly. It's like, exactly, so... Okay, you know what, our kids are eating candy right Wrong. now. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Oh, this is our dinner in Ramadan. <laughs> I see you so happy here, actually. What did I do to get stuck here? <laughs> Did you buy everything for Harira? Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> <laughs> bay, bay, bay. What are you talking about? Hmm? <laughs> I'm actually dying here. That's how is it when you do the first Ramadan in your life, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I can't stop laughing because uh, Elias just asked if we can go to a restaurant. <laughs> we are having so big problem how to like because it's already ten past one and we still need to buy food because right now we are going to the like um, Arab shop when they sell like uh, verge and uh, fruits and stuff like that with a really really good price if you compare it to the other shops. 
and uh, after that we're gonna go to the big supermarket again and buy some uh, another food home and we not gonna have really time for all this and at three o'clock we are thinking to eat so we pro and then Elias he came with the red <laughs> <laughs> you can continue, baby. Because. No, I already said that Elias wanted us to go to a restaurant. And this was, I, I thought like this was also a really good idea, you know, like maybe we can have some soup or something quick home, <laughs> like this harira if we're gonna, have, <laughs> if we're gonna make some harira. But the thing is, Elias wanna go now to the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not, that, that's not gonna happen either. Okay, but yeah, yeah, we are really busy, so we are probably doing this uh, fasting a little bit longer today. How do you feel? It could be, it could be. I have done this thousands of times, you know, like I should I don't eat mind. at that time and then... No, but I mind, you know. I'm... So we are here, where we're going to buy all of the vegetables. And I love this, you know, this yeah. makes me feel like... I'm Feels in my, like I'm in... Uh, my country. What's your country, by the way? Morocco, baby. Oh, excuse me, are you from Morocco? Morocco. Oh, bye bye. Morocco, Morocco. Where are you from? Oh, Adam, do you want to eat it? Where are you from? Morocco, baby. The quality of. You know what I mean? It's like they are cheap and the quality of the same thing. Are you working here? Do you want to have the. the... I want to have lemon. Yeah? I want to have ginger. Please. If they have, and I want to have. Um, I think that's inside. That is celery. Celery, yeah, that's one we need. This one, this is yummy, 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 yummy. Oh, this one. Good Everything ah. looks so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Carapas. Hey, hey, Adam, do you want to have it now or you want to have it later? You don't. Jawad is preparing dinner. I'm preparing the dinner and Stina preparing the harira. The one that is make it better, the one that is hard. But Jawad is actually not so convinced by my Herrera. No, because I never saw in Moroccan Harira that you put a can cinnamon. Canel. And then what is was more? And the carrots. Carrots. But I told you from the beginning this is gonna be a Swedish Harira, not some Moroccan <laughs> But I think it looks But yummy. it starts to smell a little bit like it. Yeah. Harira, so. Look at the time and we actually didn't have food yet. One and a half hour. We are late. But what we did, we just have like one muffins. So we yeah. break the, the day yeah. and then we wait until the food is ready. So we eat it one time like in good way. Yeah. So Jawad. Food. It so looks nice, baby. We'll see, we'll see. The time is right now, quarter to five, and we are ready for the Herrera. Are you ready, babe? Because you're still fixing behind me. <laughs> yeah, because no, no, the dinner is not ready, but I cannot wait until the dinner is ready, you know. Sorry? That dinner is not for me because yes. I'm a vegan. Mm -hmm. Then you lose it. So Jawad's food is done. Bon appetit, my love. Adios. And we are finally in the best moment when you do Ramadan. It's when it's actually is the time that you had food, you had dinner, you do your pray, everything that you had to do. You clean the kitchen. <laughs> And of course, you sit and you enjoy this moment. I don't know how to explain this moment actually, but I guess you guys that you do in Ramadan and you have done this before or you tried it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean exactly. So I have actually some questions here to my baby girl, Stina, because as how you know, it was the first day for her doing Ramadan. It was a moment that you was feeling, it was actually a day full with the feeling, so I actually will let you explain this yeah. by yourself, so 
I think I've actually done good because I haven't felt that hunger before I went into the kitchen like I told you guys before. What's the positive and the negative things in like in Ramadan? The positive thing is that you start to think how people actually have it all around the world when they are not able to buy food, they don't have money to buy food and that's I think it is a really important thing. You mean it's make you think in the poor people when you exactly. are doing during exactly. the Ramadan? Exactly. Ah. And like that's something that everyone should <coughs> know about. And then I don't think like Ramadan or fasting doesn't have to be anything religious, you know? Like I think everyone should do it. Yeah. Just so you come down to the earth. You I know, know, like with your feet on the ground. I know, but Ramadan is something that you do it's because it's make you feel this feeling imagine if Ramadan wasn't exist yeah then you will never have this chance to feel this feeling what people like so that's one of the reasons why we do Ramadan you know the negative maybe people think that you are hungry you get more like a small you know you lose weight you but that's not true you know like because anyway, you are fasting <clears throat> when you are sleeping, so this is just you do it in a wake time. Exactly, and as a Muslim person, and my experience when I do one month Ramadan, I always try like how many kilos I am before I start Ramadan, and then after one month, like doing the Ramadan, I look myself again, and sometimes I'm the same, sometimes I'm over, and sometimes I'm under my weight with maybe one kilo or something yeah. like that. So but it's also good to clean out your body, like, you know? I know. So I think it have more positive things than negative mm. things, absolutely. We didn't learn today with this Ramadan day that we don't stay, that is the mind who control the body and not the body like control the mind. Of course. Like, it's everything is up in your head. Like, like you, you sometimes when you, like, but the, if you say the yeah. whole day, Sorry, like if you say the whole day that you're not eating, mm. it's something that you say, oh my god, I can't, like, no, it's impossible. And then when you say to your mind, okay, tomorrow I'm not eating the whole day until this time. And then it's like, the same thing when you do diet and you need to lose weight. Yeah. You're not allowed to eat that candy or you're not allowed to eat that bread or whatever. Like, exactly like that. Like you, the body, I think whatever you your decide. Your mind is controlling it. Yeah, whatever your mind decides, I think the body just follow. It's one to it, don't want to know. Yeah. I don't know. I actually hope that you learn so much from this day, you know. And I really hope that you enjoyed it and you liked it. And the next time, guys, hopefully. But wait, 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 but wait. We need to speak about my Herrera. I forget that. But in the end, it got a really, really, really amazing soup. That's called this Moroccan Herrera, but it was. It wasn't anything close to Moroccan Herrera, but it was definitely a soup that I will make again. Yeah, and the result that it was amazing. So, uh, thank you so much for watching this vlog, and don't forget to subscribe, comment, and leave a like, and we will be so happy. Cheers, guys! I actually forgot, this is the cake that Stina made, the Snickers ones. Yeah, it's a vegan Snickers cake. So, cheers, guys, for you. Some up or some down. <laughs>